Okay guys, so for today's tutorial I just quickly want to tackle a topic that has been pretty popular here on YouTube for quite a while now and some of you might already know what I'm talking about. So that is the YouTube Shorts. And how do we create appealing shorts using DaVinci Resolve 17 or lower when most of the videos that we shoot are in landscape mode and not in portrait mode? So that's what you're going to learn today and of course if you like the template that I'm about to create feel free to go to the link in the description and download this setting file absolutely free to use it as your own. Now let's start creating some banger shorts. So guys as I said creating this YouTube short is pretty simple but when executed right you've got yourself a banger YouTube short that's ready to take off and gain your channel some traction. So before we start this tutorial, let's first start out by getting our project settings right. And we can do this in the bottom right corner right here. And then first thing first, let's go to the master settings and change your timeline resolution to custom and then change it to a portrait mode, which for 4K is 2160 by 3840 or for HD, it's 1080 by 1920. Now, once you've done that, you can also select your frame rate. And I also recommend go to color management, scroll all the way down to where it says broadcast safe and make sure this make broadcast safe is checked on when you're doing a color grade. I got mine set up perfectly for me, so I can just click cancel. You gotta hit save. And now let's just watch our footage. So in order to make this YouTube short work, we need three different clips. So we got a drone clip right here. And we got a still image right here, also from a drone club. And I also got another drone clip flying above this uh, city. Now, in order to create this YouTube short, just lay those videos on top of each other. And immediately you'll notice that only the top layer of the video is playing, but we'll fix that in a second. First of all, you'll notice that video track number two is empty and that is because we have to duplicate our freeze frame layer right here. So let's do that. Just click on the freeze frame layer, hit Alt on your keyboard and then left mouse click and just drag it down by one layer to create a duplicate of it. And now you've got your four layers ready to go. Now highlight them all, right click and then create a new fusion clip. Now with this fusion clip selected, go into the fusion page and what you'll see is media in one, two, three, and four and three merges. Now we can get rid of all of those merges because we don't need that for now. Just disconnect this connection and then go to media in one for organization purposes. Hit one on your keyboard so we can actually see what layer this is. So this is our bottom layer and then just rename this by hitting F2 and call this bottom bottom right there then go to media in two hit one on your keyboard and this is our freeze frame so let's rename this now media in three this is our freeze frame as well but this is going to be our mask and then media in four has to be our top layer so let's rename that as well call this top perfect we can move the bottom and the top layer out of the way and just start working on our freeze mask. Now select our freeze mask, hit one on our keyboard and then select this polygon node. Now with this polygon node selected, go to the top right corner to where it says inspector, open this up and make sure invert is checked so we can actually see what we're working on. Now then zoom in by holding control and scrolling up with the mouse wheel to make a rough mask around our subject to place our text layer behind it. Now because this is a still image, the mask doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that is totally fine. But make sure when you're done with the selection, just hit invert again. So once we got our mask set up, we can drag in a text node right here. Just drag it in and then connect it to the output of freeze mask to create merge one. And you'll immediately notice freeze mask is in the background and the text one is in the foreground. Now go to merge one and swap the inputs by hitting control and T. Once you've done that, you can go to text one and type in whatever you want. For me, it is Sweden. Then go to merge one and hit one on your keyboard, 
so you can actually see what you just did right there. Then increase the size and the tracking to your liking. And now you can customize your text in whatever shape or form you want. For me, I like to put the Swedish flag inside the text, so let's just do that. With the text one selected, let's go to shading. And under shading, you see the properties tab, and then there you see type, and it says solid. So let's just open this drop down menu and change this to image. Then image source, change this to clip, and then this browse comes up. Now click this and then just search for the image that you want in your text. For me, it's this Sweden flag right there. So this is pretty much perfect right now. Now that our text is done, we can connect the freeze frame output to the output of Merge 1 to create Merge 2. And on Merge 2, we can hit 1 on our keyboard to see what's going on in the viewer. Now, as you notice, our text is completely missing and that is because the Merge 1 is connected to the background of Merge 2 and Freeze Frame is connected to the foreground, so we gotta swap the inputs again. Now go to Merge 2, hit Ctrl T to swap the inputs and you'll immediately notice that our text comes up. So now let's go ahead, go to our bottom layer and add a transform node. And with this transform node selected, just connect the output of transform 1 to the output of merge 2. And now do the exact same thing with our top layer. So let's just connect a transform node and connect the transform node to the output of merge 3 to create merge 4. And then connect the output of merge 4 to the input of media out. You see nothing has changed except that our top layer is playing where our freeze frame was. And that is because we have to change the position of our top and bottom layer under the transform nodes. All you want to do is just under this transform node drag down the center to the complete bottom right there. And then do the exact same thing for transform 2. Just put this up until it touches the top part of the frame. Now once you've done this you'll immediately notice that there are spaces in between our clips and that's not what we want so we gotta fix this in our transform nodes as well. So let's go to transform 1 and change the size to 1.09 and then do the exact same thing for our transform 2. Now once you've done that we've increased the size of our top and bottom layer so we got more space to move them around and let's just move this down and Till it barely touches this second video layer. Now go to transform 1 and let's do the exact same thing right here. So now once you've done this we're basically finished. Let's just go back to the edit tab and right here you got your YouTube short. So guys as it is with all videos the footage alone isn't gonna make your video perfect. Now you need some sort of sound design so in my case, I would maybe add some birds flying in the background and some waves crashing in at the beach, but also some wind noises, for example. And then maybe, um, maybe a horn from a boat or whatever. And I also would underlay this with a nice soft soundtrack to match the feeling and the mood of this video. So once you've done that, you've got yourself a nice banger YouTube short that's ready to take off. Okay guys, so that is all I got for now. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If so, please consider leaving a like to help this video spread out to more people that are interested in this specific topic. So that's all I gotta say. Hope you all have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.